this is my vlog. It was a busy week. I um, got to do several things. One of the first things I got to do was I got to go to a dance. And another thing I got to do was I got to, uh, well, I got to go to a job interview. And here I wait for a job interview. Hope it goes well. I also went to another job interview, and that one didn't go through. The other one I'm still waiting back from, or waiting to hear back from, so it's going to take some time for that. Oh, let's see. Um, I've also noticed that I'm being a little too quiet in doing these videos, so I have to be conscious of being louder. Let's see. Uh, ooh, my garden. My beets that are on seed. Some squash. Here's a zucchini plant, with some zucchini growing in it currently. Over here is the banana squash, which is slightly growing but mostly dead. Some spices. So like one onion thing way over here. A few that survived. More of the squash. And we have, oh, I'll look another one. And we have these onions as well, or leeks, I'm not quite sure. Hmm. And over there is a nice big squash, which he probably hasn't seen. Huh. Oh well. In my garden, I also found out recently because I wanted to harvest the seeds of the radishes because it went to seed. And as such, the radishes themselves be too witty. I found out that the bean pods themselves are actually edible, which surprised me when I was looking into this. So I have a second way to eat my radish plants. Uh, the best way I can describe it is they're kind of like peas, except they're very, very small, and they're kind of uh, tangy, or like half as strong as radishes, so they're not too bad. Yeah. So yeah, give myself another vegetable like me. Apparently they are more popular inside Germany, along with a few other things, but you know, it's food. I grew in my garden. Still kind of spicy, but eh, it's fine. The last thing I got to do this week was I got to uh, have a temporary job. It was only for the day, but I got to uh, help install some uh, linoleum on the floor. I got to see the project from mostly start to finish. I missed the first portion of it because I was asked to come in at a later time. So he pretty much tore off the old linoleum or whatever was there, probably linoleum, but I didn't see what was there. And so he put on some uh, plaster to fill in all the cracks. And after that, uh, he made some measurements of the room itself so he could figure out the dimensions that he needed. Apparently he got a rough estimate of the flooring, and then after that, he cut that out at the site where they had the flooring in large rolls, brought them to the place itself. And when he got there, we put it on the floor, then he did a secondary measurement thing where he got them to more exact spaces and cut them to their proper dimensions. So they fit exactly as needed on the uh, sections that they were there. And with that, uh, we got to cut out the rest of it. Well, actually, before that, what he did is he uh, had it so he put the glue down. And then with that, uh, we had this roller and he rolled down all the bubbles. And he did it on one side and then on the other side because it's a really big floor. <laughs> and it's easier to do it half and half because you can control it and you can only fold half the floor at the side. And we did it a long way because that was the easiest way to do it, to do a correction. Then we put up the border with uh, another uh, caulking and plaster. And then there was a uh, last portion, which was um, the silicone, which is pretty much getting all the gaps that uh, have been kind of missed. Um, this next week, I'll start to go to the practices for the new concert. And I'll probably have footage from that. It'll be interesting. I've been kind of practicing because my roommate 
has recently brought his violin from home. It's a lot more expensive than mine and has a better volume, I think. So I could be wrong because I continually play mine with a mute so I don't bug my neighbors. Aside from that, I have to refresh my programming because I'll be taking that in two weeks. Primarily, I gotta figure out how to write pseudocode. Hmm. Anyway, I have nothing else to report. Bye.